Unlike Tucker Carlson, I cannot be the sworn enemy of lying pomposity and groupthink to the degree that he is weekly at 8 p.m. on Fox News Network. But I will join him in being a voice against what we have been seeing regarding socialism, communism, and groupthink from the swamp. Hmm. I went to a school board meeting the other night, not as a domestic terrorist, but as a concerned taxpayer over what the National School Boards Association sent to the Biden administration, basically asking them to investigate and go after those they deem domestic terrorists, meaning concerned parents and taxpayers. I was told we do not belong to the National School Boards Association. Our association is with the New York State School Board Association. I checked. Do you know what the New York State School Board Association did with that Biden administration? endeavored to investigate, they applauded and sided with the National School Board Association letter to do that very thing. So it looks like I'm going to have to go back to our own school board and say, why are we even part of the New York State School Board Association? I brought up the fact that we are seeing diversity, equity, and inclusion in a ubiquitous way throughout the nation, especially in education. What does this diversity mean? Is it a way to legitimize abnormal, unnatural, and unwanted behaviors that were once deemed that but now are given legitimacy? Is that what diversity is about? Uh, equity. It's interesting that as you see this in education, equity only pertains to those in the system. That is, if you are a homeschooler, if you go to private school, equity doesn't apply to you. You're excluded. No resources whatsoever should go to you. They only belong in the government-run system. You're excluded which is kind of odd because they're for inclusion. And I say inclusion of what? Is this inclusion conditional or unconditional? By the way they view things, inclusion is defined by them. And if you don't meet their definition or standard, then you're not part of the included group. Be very wary of this phraseology of diversity, inclusion, and equity. I call it die. <laughs> and public education should be dying. Government-run schools are really part of the swamp. And it's time we start calling government-run education as much of the swamp as we see the Department of Justice as well as the State Department. I couldn't help but think of what Ilana Mercer, a paleolimitarian, said in a recent column. Our students in public education struggle with math and reading, but they're number one in critical race theory. That's where we're at with government-run schools. It's time for the Christian community especially to exit that form of indoctrination masked as education. Well, unlike Tony Kornheiser of Pardon the Interruption, I cannot promise you that I'll do better the next time.